There may be some confusion when I tell you that the new art festival is 25 years old, <laughs> but it's it's new art at the festival, and that's why it's called the New Art Festival. Uh, joining us to tell more, uh, tell us more about it is Ross Royom. He is the president of the New Art Festival. Welcome, Ross. Thanks it's very much. It's been a while. Great to see you. Yeah, it's been a few. I think I was last time I was here was with the Ottawa Art Expo, which. After a great seven years, we was put to pasture. Right. Burned out the all the key people, <laughs> right? Um, and, but this is a return for you to this festival. Is that yes, right, Ross? I mean, I, it's the first festival I ever did in Ottawa. Okay. When I was came back to Ottawa from being overseas and I started my art career, someone said, that's the one festival you've got to do. And so I did it, and I met all everybody I know in the art world in Ottawa, I met at that festival, really? including Bat Boy, who is the founder. Right, yeah. Who yeah. returned this year. He and I were both dragged into a meeting, kind of a Save the Festival meeting. <laughs> really? Yeah, That's we, how... Uh, we so were, what, uh, you said Save the Festival, so the festival sort of wound down? No, and, it was, but it was people were point? questioning because COVID really knocked it for a loop, yeah. and then the people who were running it were burnt out after eight years. They were exhausted and said, right. and we know if we can carry on. So they had, had this emergency meeting. I went to it as just as a friend. Yeah. And there's Bat Boy. Next thing I know, we're... <laughs> Next thing, I'm this president. Happens, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. They're it's just like, reeling yeah, in. Come on in, but it, it, it's, 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 it's ironic, because that's how I started here, and now I end up being the, you know, the president. Well, Ross, I, I, I've always appreciated what a, how skilled you are. You're mm -hmm. such an incredible artist. You brought in a piece here, and, you know, right away, I mean, everyone in, in, in the studio went, wow. Um... For people that aren't familiar with with your background, uh, wh when did when did art come into your life, Ron? It's always been there. I yeah. Mean, I mean, what happens is I've always been an artist. I'm a musician. I write songs. I'm a painter. It's more a question of you know, can he sustain that financially? Right. You know, so you do that for a while, and it's okay. I need some money. <laughs> yeah. So you end up doing other things. I've been in IT and you know, project management. But I always get drawn back to the arts. That's my true love. So. Well, and you've traveled extensively, yes. right, around yep. the world yep. as well. And yep. so when I look at this painting, you were saying this was in Amsterdam? Amsterdam yeah. Yeah. yeah, which I would stop over on my way to the Middle East where I worked for many years. And I would always pass through. And it's a great city. Yeah. As an artist, I mean, it's incredible. What, uh, what mediums do you work in? Oil. Oil predominantly, Yeah, right? pretty much uh, everything, yeah. 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 I, I tried acrylic. It just didn't have the depth of color, although it's nice because it dries fast. Yeah, that, <laughs> I mean, that's for sure. Yeah, yeah. Oil's, oil's really, a whole different animal, isn't it? It, it really is. Uh, let's talk about the festival. Okay. Um, this is the largest festival in, in Ottawa. Yeah. Um, tell me, like, what, what can people expect? What numbers are we talking about uh, There's 166 artists, okay. and we have a range. We have ceramic art, the, jewelry, painting, sculpture, you know, the whole gamut, really, of art and artists all handmade and okay. individual so it's nothing mass produced it's all unique handmade pieces by the art and yeah, all the artists are are there so if if you like to meet artists they they'll that's one of the requirements the artist has to be present i think that's special right and and i, I imagine for you as the artist as well right not just for those of us that are, that are attending what what is that experience like for you as an artist to be able to communicate and talk about a it's painting it's really face important paint? actually because i think i mean in the evolving world now where between ai and you know your camera is so good you can take a picture of a sunset and print it on canvas and it right. looks like a piece of art so it's the personal connection to the artist that is the thing that makes the difference that's why you would buy a piece of art you see it you like it you talk to the artist you develop a connection so it, it's much more than just something you would stick on your wall right it's something that has a, a long-term emotional aim. And, and so that's really why it's great as an artist to meet the people yeah, and th then there's a story behind it too, exactly. right? Instead of somebody walking into your home and looking at a piece, go, oh, that's nice. Yeah, I mean, th then you go, well, wait a minute, let me yeah, tell you the story of sure. meeting Ross Rayom, and, and, you know, he told I me mean, about this a trip thing he made. I bought in Paris that's this big. I mean, it cost about $2, but every time I look at that, I remember when I was in yeah. Paris. Yeah. It was just a little piece of street art. So the, but it's that connection is really why well, I would say if somebody likes art, the festival, this is a unique opportunity. Because if you go to a gallery, you don't meet the artist. Right. Yeah, exactly. And um, I imagine Online. it makes it makes it more affordable too, right? Because well, there's no more. middle middle person, middle man, exactly. middle woman in there. Exactly. So you're just, you're dealing direct with the artist. And uh, so there's that emotional impact to me is really, really important. Ross, is, um, is part of the criteria, is it all local artists? What, what is yeah, the... Yeah, there's some, it's pretty much local. I mean, we don't, ex if someone from, Tor there was people applied from Toronto. Okay. And okay. Montreal. Yeah. So there, there's no re restriction. Right. And there's a lot of young 
up, uh, we have a certain portion of the festival set aside for up and coming developing artists as well, students, to give Excellent. them a chance. Are you encouraged? Ross, you know, seeing that there are still a lot of interest from young people getting into the oh, art because it's, it's incredibly challenging, I think, I think, right? Yeah it's, yeah, it's really challenging. It's hard to know what's going to happen with the technologies that have come out where you can draw on an iPad. I mean, the younger generation is really used to and then they turn that into a piece of art, right. as opposed to picking up a paintbrush and paint. I know some of your artists, though, a lot of them still draw on paint. There's something yeah. to be said for that direct feel of touching the paper or the canvas, not a computer screen. So it's, I think people are always going to want to be image makers. That's really what an right. artist is. Right. Storyteller, image maker. What advice would you give to somebody that, you know, looks, looks at it as a career as you have? You get a second job. Yeah. No, I'm yeah. just kidding. I figured that I'm would be kidding. it. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> it's <laughs> okay. <laughs> I, I, th I think you have to really figure out what it is you want to, to what is your story? Okay. Because that's what somebody's buying. Ultimately, they're buying not just a piece of art. They're buying a part of you. So you need to understand what is that? What is interesting about you? What have you got to offer? And, and, and dig deep inside yourself to find that and try to put that into It's no different than writing a great song. Right. Great songs yeah. are written by people that, if you look at the history of them, that's, they're actually telling their real story. And that's why you get the emotional connection. Right. Like, people love the painting because that's my favorite image I ever took of Amsterdam. Really? And I sat on it for 15 years. I never You're painted kidding. because I just never felt ready. Okay. And I thought, one of these days, I'm going to paint that thing. I and a couple years story. ago, I finally said, no, I got to do it. Right. So, and, and people like, but it, it really meant, a, it, it really meant a lot to me, the image. And, and so that, that helped, I think, to turn it into what it was. Yeah. Yeah. Ross, uh, great to see you again. Thanks yeah, so much really, for joining it's us. Really nice appreciate it. Oh, it's an absolute pleasure. <laughs> and uh, congratulations on roping them in because uh, you got a good one here. The new art festival, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Central Park in the Glebe, uh, June 10th and 11th. We'll be right back after this.